Hello, my name is Steven, and I am going to show you how to resize your B-Ball wooden watch uh, wristband to get the perfect fit and display your watch to all the people who will be looking down at your wrist. So, all B-Ball watches have two different types of uh, holders or clasps for the wooden bands. First one is going to be a pin with a little cap that kind of locks it into place on the band. And this is the first one that we'll be going through today. So this watch uses this type of a uh, locking system. And let's show you how it's done. All right. So first, you want to take your sizing tool here. It's going to keep the watch firmly in place while you <clears throat> take out the pin to resize your armband. Okay, and you want to line it up so that where the pin, where you're going to be pushing through, it kind of meets with this center circle right here. So when you knock the pin through, it can release. We take our nifty little tool here. <clears throat> we stick it in and we just, one, two, three, easy peasy. All right, see, and the pin just comes out very easily. If you do it right, the little cap stays inside so you don't have to go rummaging around for it. <clears throat> and here you are. You now have removed one link successfully. <clears throat> so, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it back together. So, make sure that you get it sized up right, and we've lost our cap. I don't know where it went, because it was in here. Here it is, okay. <clears throat> so, our cap fell out, and now you wanna make sure you get it in on the right side. So, we are using the band at the 12 o'clock position. With these, the cap, is going to go into the right side of the wristband when you're looking at the dial. All right, so we get that in there. And what you want to do is you want to take your pin, put it and thread it through. Makes life a little easier. And now we're going to use the flat edge here put our wristband down. We're going to take a pin that has already been removed. Put it on top of the, the interlocking washer. And we're just gonna hammer down. It's going to push the pin from the bottom up into the, the lock pin on this side. locks into place and there you go easy peasy and you are ready to strut your stuff in style now we're gonna move on to the second type of pin see this pin has a little grips right at the top and these grips they kind of they grip the wood, basically. And that's what keeps the wristband tight and solid on your wrist. So that way it doesn't come off as you're in mid stroll. <laughs> so it's basically the same thing. You are going to want to orientate yourself. And so we have our 12 o'clock here, so we're going to be pushing it out uh, this way. And let's get it lined up. Again, keeping over the center hole so it can slide out easily. So now we have the pin sticking out, and we got to get this sucker out. So, 
you see that that's the grips on the other side that's preventing you from pulling it out so we're going to pull out some needle nose pliers and there you go easy peasy and out you go <clears throat> so that's how you take out the second type of pin and now we're going to put it back in just like the last time now we want to flip it back over so before we were resting this way right now we're going to go this way so we don't damage the inner workings of the wood right, you want to line everything up We'll put the pin in to thread it through the middle, make life a little bit easier. Okay, and we get it set up. Now for this one, we're gonna use this side of the hammer, so that way if it does go flush, you don't damage the wood. And here we go. Right, see, there we go. Now you just want to make sure you get it back in flush where it needs to be. So there's no more, well, this has a good grip. And right, we're going to bring out our tool again. And now we're just going to lightly tap. And make sure our grip is strong. Give a little bit more precision. Yeah, this is better. Keep that holding steady. And boom. There you go. Nice and flush. Solid lock. Clamp it up. And you're ready to hit the town.